That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. I have a treat for y'all today. Make sure you all like, share, and hit the notification bell. Anyway, this is Way Back Wednesday, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I said, well, I might as well do it. I'm going to show you all the very first video that I had done. I've been in this business for almost three and a half years, and I feel that I've come a long way. So, what I'm going to do... I said, look, you can show these individuals because it's, it's a treat for me and it's a treat for my audience. Show y'all how I had uh, transgressed. Is that a word? Yeah. Um, from the beginning up until now, you know, you're going to see, you know, some uh, things you've never seen before. No, I'm just playing. But anyway, check out this video, man. Uh, this is my very first video that I've done and I hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, the co-host that was with me at the time is no longer with me. Uh, for those who don't know, my show name used to be the Parker Daniels Show. That's another subject. So check this out. Hi, this is Kim Daniels, co-host of the Parker Daniels Show with my co-host, Anthony Parker. Hi. We are going to interview him today. Uh, so you can get an idea of uh, what we each have gone through. You got me last week. We're going to do Anthony this week. So, Anthony, tell me a little bit about yourself right now. My name is Anthony Parker, co-host of the Parker Daniel Show. I was raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <clears throat> um, I've been here all my life. I am the middle child of uh, five kids. I have a brother and a sister that's older than me and a brother and sister that's younger than me. And my mom's still alive. So you were the middle child? Yes. So you were spoiled. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say so much spoiled, but as, as a whole, all five of us were, were um, we did get what we wanted. Our parents so, made it happen for so us. So out of the five, you're the only one who's visually blind? Visually impaired, blind, totally blind, all that, yes. Okay, so how, how, did, your, how did your siblings treat you? Well, if I may back up a little bit, um, they treated me just like as one of as one of them, um, not just my si siblings, my family as a whole accepted me for who I was. They I interacted with all of them. We played games. We did you know uh, whatever. Rode bicycles. Well, not, things of nature. Go go back a little bit. How how did you become blind? You were born blind, or no, according to um, my records and what my mother stated. I lost my sight when I was about um, either two or three years of age due to German measles, uh, spinal meningitis, um, something of that sort. Um, so actually, I would say at the earliest three years of age. Okay. So uh, what what have you uh, accomplished? I mean, what did you do? What did you go to school? I started that. Well, I went to the school for the visually impaired. Um, that was, well, it's still on um, Government Street in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went there for, um, I think, 18 years, ever since I was five, no, um, 13 years, ever since I was five years old. Okay, and from there, what did you do? I uh, graduated from there, valedictorian in my class, and I went to other schools. Oh, are you were smart? Yes. So what happened? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> a lot of people don't <laughs> think that I am, but yeah. I, I graduated from LSU, um, in 1991, I pledged uh, Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. You graduated. What did you What did you major in? Criminal justice. I wanted to get a minor in psychology, but um, I can't. I fell short two hours. But let me. A sidebar. My grandmother, rest in peace, thought that I would probably go out to be a lawyer or graduate. You know, go tell the shoot as a lawyer or not. But I kind of not now wish that I would have. But. So give a little detail about how, how exactly did you go to LSU being blind Well, before, and graduate? Well, before I actually went there, there's, there's a, what is called a mobility training uh, 
um, situation where um, at the high school, the mobility instructor would take you out to, to various places and, and have you maneuver around those areas, be it walk, um, to uh, show you how to cross streets and things that, like that. So with that being said, I um, told them that I wanted to go to LSU, so they actually um, got me acclimated or adjusted to the setting, showed me various places on LSU campus that I would be using. So you went, so you went to classes by yourself? You had no assistance? I mean, only the assistance that I have is if individuals come up to me and ask me if I want assistance. I never turned it down, so the majority of the time I actually went to school uh, with the class by myself. Okay, so how did you how did you do classes then? Uh, we had a, a tape recorder. We recorded the classes, or we were provided a reader who would read um, the subjects to us on the tape recorder. And we go back to our dorm and um, listen to it and write it up for in Braille and what have you. So, so did, when you when you decided to go to LSU though, did you research the colleges as no. to the um, you know? No, I didn't. So you just picked LSU off the top of your head because it was just here in Baton Rouge and that's where you live? Well, or? the reason why I had to pick LSU is because I, um, <laughs> honestly, the school that I went to, um, that's all I knew about at that time. I mean, I knew, I knew about the other schools, but man, man it's, it's just, they, 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 I don't want to really say it, but they, it was like, like a lot of white people. And okay. they, they all, at that time, you know, went to LSU and they kind of like told me about it. Plus. That, that, that piqued my interest and I started listening to sports, listening to um, LSU sports on radio and I started liking it that, like that, so. Okay. And I don't, I don't have any complaints at all. Well, um, so what have, what have you achieved in the past, wait, how old are you, 70? No, 71. 71? No, I'm 50. <laughs> <laughs> so what have, I'll take the question what have over you, what have I What have you achieved or what do you plan on achieving? I mean, being being blind as you are and stuff. I mean, what have you overcome? Well, I've overcome the, the fact of me being, um, I never really had uh, any apprehensive. I was never apprehensive about doing anything because we were part of a mainstreaming program in, in high school where we went out to McKinley to get us um, adjusted to the sighted world. So, I mean, I overcame just basically if there was any fear of me actually going out to the real world, I, 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 I accomplished that. Um, that's all I can basically think of. I mean, it's right now I'm basically still pushing on as far as whatever life has to offer me that, you know, I'm taking the, you know, my, my chances and doing what I need to do. So what little things have you done so far? In terms of what? Uh, just in terms of job opportunities or things that you have, you well, know, done since you've been blind? I'm pursuing job uh, offers, I'm filling out applications. Uh, I'm currently employed. Um, I don't want to really go into detail, but I, as y'all say this, the job in which I am working now, I'm overqualified for. But that, you know, that's just basically giving, give, giving me the, uh, the, the, the motivation to continue to do what I need to, need to do. So mm -hmm. I have pursued uh, job opportunities. I, you know, I got together with um, my co-host Kim Daniels to help um, uh, share our message and get it across to individuals who want to, who feel like they want to give up or, or, or things of that nature to try to give them the, the opportunity to say, hey, I know that there's a show I can go on, I can talk to individuals like you, like us, so that can give me the encouragement. Okay. So do you have any advice to give to anybody who is going blind or is blind? Well, the advice that I have to give it to them is basically just, just, just um, to accept it, to um, to how embrace. You, well, to how, embrace how, it. how did you accept it? I I, I just as a being though it being as though it happened as I was um, coming up as a as a youngster, I just accepted. I mean, and only time I really felt depressed or was basically after I got out of college and found out that the job. Um, scenery was harder than I really thought so is that because of you being blind or is it just because of the uh, the way today's ec economics is uh, economics is enough isn't well it? I was more fo focused on the fact that because I, me being totally blind had something to do with it and I once I came I come to grips 
to where I have to accept that and work harder then I, you know, I persevered. But yeah, I did think that that was part of it. But um, so, as being a blind person, then I, I mean, I heard, you know, you said you, you've done a lot of applications and stuff. I mean, what is your, you know, what's coming? What's your feedback on that? With you know the yeah, applications and stuff. I mean, what? But what are what are they telling? What are these companies telling you though? I mean, a lot of them, a lot of companies are apprehensive about hiring individuals who have not just being blind, but just just being impaired in, in, at any cost because they feel that you are, are a, uh, um, a liability. But they don't know and they are uh, uninformed about the opportunities that, um, that are out there that, can, that there are companies that can provide um, any type of equipment, any type of assistance. So it's, 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 it's that plus, even though that it may be the case, it still goes down to so who you know. Of course, yeah, that's that's today's society, period. But uh, I do know this, though, having working with you for the past 10 months, I know firsthand that you can sing. So I know you at one time, didn't you do a little, well, I know you all did that rap crap crap. Didn't you do that? Didn't you sing? Well, for the sake of, um, uh, for the sake of me acknowledging what you stated with the rap crap, because there are other individuals who will look at rap as being a very I know. crafty. Well, I personally call it rap crap because I just don't like rapping. I mean, it, it to me it don't make any sense. But you you sang though, right? Well, yeah. So, so side, that means sidebar. You can still sing, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm not. So, gonna, I'm uh, not gonna sing. Oh yeah, come I'm on. Not, I think I I'm, think you need to give us at least you know. A little bit. Give us a little gonna, taster. Well, Come the, on, go the, ahead. The main, the main focus. I'll, I'll do it next time. Oh, because I'm a, I'm a bit shy. Uh, I'm an introvert. I don't want to is, see my look, work. I don't, I, my main look, thing is is, is let, let me let, let me get back because lightning's about to strike. Okay, all well, that. However, light. whatever it does, however it does, my main focus is uh, basically let you all know that this is a situation, and then in, in the later times, I will be able to sing. I'll do something for y'all. Well. This is Anthony Parker, my co-host of the Parker Daniels Show. So this will be the end of this interview. Anthony, you have anything else you want to say? No, I just wanted to thank everybody for the time. Share, follow, go to uh, Parker slash Daniels Show and um, see the work that we've done. And uh, basically just enjoy our interview. That's all I have to say. But yeah, check us out. We are on YouTube. Oh, wait, wait. I we like, are I on Facebook. He is on Twitter because I am electronically disabled myself because I know nothing about electronical stuff. But he has a Twitter, so check him out on Twitter. Check us out on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. Well, I, I want, yeah, I want to thank my lovely daughter for actually filming us. And um, I would like for you all to stay tuned to her channel that she has. Yes. Check her out. You, you have posted already? Yeah. And the name of that is? Tamiria Sim. So check that out. Tamiria Sim. Spell that for me. T-A-M-E-R-R-I-A Sim. S-I-M-S. And it's a different channel. It's uh, You know what? I'm not going to tell you what, what it's all about. But anyway, thanks for, for, for tuning in to the Parker Daniels Show. Make sure you tune in to Tamiria Sims and uh, watch her channel. And uh, I guess we're, we're out. out. Thank you. Thank you. High five. First show. Anyway, um, that's it.